What's up guys, Dickapin in here, and we're playing The Dome. This is one of the new maps, actually. And this is the third map that was available for Splatfest. I'm not sure if they're going to change them. If they do, I might show off the other maps. But look up. Do you guys notice how they're in fireworks? It's nighttime. It's dark, but where are the fireworks? I know I said this on every stage that I've covered, but I just wish they'd have fireworks. It would have been beautiful. Fireworks were going off while you battle here. The fireworks are reflecting off the paint. I and mean, I thought it would just been really cool, you know? I thought it would also been cool for them to have different weapons for Splatfest. Even if you can't keep them, it would have been cool to have different weapons that were Splatfest related. Maybe like some cool, like, fire... Like, you know, like a firecracker weapon. Or, you know, a fireworks launcher or something unique and cool. You know, same with the uh, items. I mean, all we have is a shirt. Basically, all I noticed they did with, with Splatfest is they made it where you can you can have up to three maps in Turf War. You can't pick up any other turf, turf War, and it pretty much ranks you in Turf War on these maps to either be, you know, a top cat or a top dog. And I do kind of like that. It is kind of fun. I like it better than the other modes and the ranked mode, but I just feel that they could have did more besides add this mode and change the plaza. Because that's literally all they did. They changed the plaza and they added this mode and they added a t-shirt. That's Splatfest. And although it's something, and I'm not trying to be like, oh man, they could have did so much more, but I am. They could have did so much more. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, um, I love it. It is cool, but I think after this, I probably will go on it one more time to see if they change anything tonight. And then I probably just won't play Splatoon anymore. It'll probably be over for me, you know? I'm at level 20, no new maps are out, I don't use the new weapons, there's no new items that I care about, you know? So, I might just either sell my Wii U, or wait until Exoblades comes out at the end of the year, and then, you know, just not really play Wii U anymore. <laughs> wait for the NX, and when the NX does hit, we'll be covering it fully next year, and it'll be really, really fun, especially if it launches with Animal Crossing for NX. They're not giving us Animal Crossing Wii U, which is the only thing wanting me to keep my Wii U. So, that's life. But I don't mean to ramble about that. Right now, it is all about Splatfest, and excuse me for rambling on about the future of Nintendo on my page at the last 30 seconds. I want to actually talk about Splatfest. <laughs> but we did cover all the dark maps, and they look really cool. We covered the plaza. If you guys missed that, look at the links in the description. We have a lot of Splatoon on this page. I covered every map, every DLC weapon, we covered, uh, every, the only thing we didn't cover was single player, which I don't think I will. I'm not too interested in it, but nonetheless, I do love Splatoon. I think Splatfest is pretty cool, though it could have more, and, uh, you can crack in people on walls. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. We'll have a little bit more coming soon, and, uh, thank you guys for listening, for caring. If you made it this far, I appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys in the next chapter. Peace.